Hello, my name is Veldrin and welcome back to Dungeon Siege 3. Apparently modern science has brought us hover women, as well as goblins. So let's explore Stonebridge. Wanted, the criminal mastermind known as the Dapper Old Gent, for theft, sabotage and wanton destruction of city property. Reward will be paid for his capture or positive proof of his death. Sigismund Wolf, First Constable. How many fingers would you say a person really needs? Oh, no reason. Ah, here we are, Stonebridge. This will be a welcome change from that fetid swamp. This is a longer piece of lore, but not separate. But it's also a bit too boring to read aloud, so I'm going to give that in screenshots. This is more on, yes, the dapper old chant. We don't want any trouble with the Legion. This city's been prosperous these 30 years. We want to keep it that way. Goblins are a large part of why I love Stonebridge so much. Oh, by the way, on the Dapper Old Gent, Dapper is actually derived from a Middle Dutch and Middle Low German term. And back then it also used to mean elegant, but it also meant something like brave, and once upon a time, also bold, strong and sturdy. We still have Dapper in Dutch as well as Tapfa in German. Let's get this quest. New in town? By the looks of you, you aren't here to buy my simple wares. Perhaps you can help me. I need someone who isn't afraid of a little danger. What sort of help do you need? I'm expecting a shipment of clothing, and the caravan is late. It's not exactly bars of gold, but silk is pricey enough to tempt thieves. Out east of the city, there's a camp of Lascanzi, deserters from Jane Cassander's army. They're looting every caravan that passes by. I'm not the only merchant waiting for that shipment. I need someone to scare off those thieves. Or kill them, if need be. As we are with Katerina, we are interested in gold. We can certainly help, but we're trying to raise funds for the Legion. What my ever-so-tactful friend is trying to say is, Give us money, and we will do it. What? We have no time to dance around the matter. I stand to lose a lot of money if those supplies don't come in. I wouldn't dream of asking you to do this without proper payment. The thieves are camped near the road, east of the city, not far from the swamp. Good luck to you. I'll await your return. Katerina is refreshingly straightforward. Well... Let me just teleport to the area, kill the thieves, and then we'll see. Last time I actually mentioned that we would be returning to the caravan, but I was mistaken. The thieves are actually over here. Mm, hello, so let's try the new attack. Um. Alright, I guess that was the targeting system screwing me over again. Let's try that again then. That wasn't as much as I had hoped. But I have seen that attack actually hit for massive criticals before, so... Well, I'm actually... Well, I have hope for it. Let's loot all this and then return to the city. My supplies arrived. Thank you, my friends. Here's half of what I stood to lose had you not helped me. Alright, let me do some quick shopping over here. Actually, every shop in the game, well, most of them really, um, have one or two of the uh, special rare items. Usually I don't see a lot of useful stuff in the normal things, but for example the blade rest shoulders for Lucas, that's really something I do want to get at some point with 66 Doom. But I also want to keep a bit of money in reserve, and we're not playing with Lucas right now. There's also the threaded resilience, but that's for Reiners, and we don't have him with us anyway. Let me just get rid of some crap and then I'll continue. Alright, let's see who else is there to talk to. If I hit my head hard enough, can I make my eyes roll around so I can see into my brain? No. 
I don't think so. But you're free to try. A lady such as yourself deserves only the finest jewelry. Perhaps I can interest you in a talk set with diamonds? Or do you prefer rubies? Whatever your price range or preference, Pratt's jewelers can satisfy your needs. As you might expect, he sells necklaces as well as rings. So many unanswered questions of gravity. So few cats. Curse this city and its intolerance of animal cruelty. I thought that the mechanical guardian at the front gate actually said that there were... Well, that there was a feline overload. Oh well. Ah, this is a bit of walking. Let me skip forward. We don't want any trouble with the Legion. This city's been prosperous these 30 years. We want to keep it that way. To our right, more of the city. And to our left, actually, the Legion chapter house. Legion folk. Haven't seen your kind around here since... Well, bad memories and all that. This sign has been scratched and vandalized, but you can make out a few words. Crown Chapter House, constructed by Headquarters of the Tenth Legion. So let's go and reclaim our old chapter house. I always run into a bit of uh, lagginess around here. I'm not sure why. This bookshelf contains hundreds of ancient legion texts. Four books appear to be missing from the shelf. That is actually our way into the inner sanctum of the chapter house. So we are going to have to collect four books. And the best way to do that is to basically rush through, really. Jane Cassinder must have roused the people of Stonebridge to a great fury. This place was torn apart. This skeletal corpse appears to be a legionnaire. He was probably killed when Jane Cassinder and her mob stormed the chapter house, and he has been lying here ever since. I feel dirty for saying the words, Jane Cassinder. Alright, those enemies you see there, they basically respawn eternally. Ah, uh, let me just quickly show that. They go down, and then after a while they get up again. So that's really very boring to see, so I'm not going to show that. <laughs> there they are. Well, I did show it. Yes, Katarina, and there is. Legion Scroll. The Tenth Legion was founded upon four principal pillars. Vigilant defense, reconciliation with our foes, allegiance to the crown, fair judgment. And while I read this, apparently it impresses our foes well enough that they leave us alone, I hope. Just as these four pillars uphold our legion, so do the four books guard this chapter house. If the books are not in place, the inner sanctum will be closed and the guardians will slay those who trespass on our sacred ground. Very well. Well, once we pick up the books... They die. Or at least disappear. I don't know whether these things can actually die. I did have more health before I went there, didn't I? Were they actually successfully killing me? While I was in a cutscene? Oh well. That looks like it's a good weapon for Katarina. Well, let's continue with our... No, let me up. Let me heal up a bit. Um, again, rush through it, but this time it's a little bit more involved because of uh, the fireballs as well as the lever, which our enemies graciously allow us to use. Well, that's that. And a bit of looting. Katarina will get up on herself. Is there anything else over there? Yes, one final thing. Oh yes, healing up. And I believe the next room is the third room. After that we only have one more to go and then we have reclaimed the chapter house. 
I think it's a very strange system of uh, defense to basically have uh, anti-thievery mechanisms in place that mean people will have to just rush through it. But oh well. Again, this one is slightly different with two books, one on either side. And a whole bunch of loot in each room. I've looked at those paintings before, but I don't think they actually have any meaning. Most of them are just random fluff. Now let's go to the other room and I believe then we only need one final book. Every book, by the way, presents us with a piece of lore, I believe. Yes, there it is. As usual, I'll give them separately. Now, onwards to the final room. Can I make it? Yes. And that's it. Really, it's a bit pitiful. But it's fun to do. At least it's a different mechanic from just killing everything. A razor spare as loot. I'm going to have to look through all of that later on. And some lore, yes, as well as loot. This is a long piece of lore, I believe, about Stonebridge, the Goblin Renaissance. Or is that Renaissance? Oh well. Um, I'm now going to have to actually switch back to... No, I'm not going to switch back to Lucas. I like to give Katarina the influence bonus that we're going to get now. Although... Let me just think about this. I'm sticking with Katarina for now to gain the influence. We're already quite far with Lucas and we've barely gotten anything with Katarina. So let's try and fill up that bar a bit more. There are two opportunities for basically any oh, character. Secret causeway entrance. I wonder what sort of illicit uses this might be put to. This must be the causeway entrance then, yes? Katarina, take the causeway back to Rukenval. Tell Odo and Martin that we've reclaimed the chapter house and bring them back here. Martin and Odo will be surprised to see me, no? I'll return as soon as I can, with our friends in tow. It hasn't changed so much. We heard rumors of a battle in the swamp. Royalists against Jane Cassinda. What news? You weren't caught up in any trouble, I hope. One reason why I prefer Katerina is that without having her in our party, we wouldn't be able to talk about her. This is Katerina, Hugh Montbaron's daughter. The Half-Blood Girl. We know her. I had a dream of a golden-haired child. I know better than to ignore such a sign. The Radiant Youth? Again? He's never taken such an active hand before. He's guiding us, giving hints of whom we can trust. Someone set traps and guardians on the lower level of the chapter house. Could the Legionnaires have set them before they were killed? No. Jane and her mob stormed this place, dragged the Legionnaires into the streets. They didn't have time to set traps or wards. Someone's been here after the Legion fell. The rumors of a battle were true. Most of the royal army are dead, but we met their general, a man called Devonsey. Devonsey? You're sure that was his name? Thirty years ago, Finn Devonsey was one of us, master of the Legion chapter house in Glacier. And he called himself by a different name, a Legion name. He called himself by another name? What was it? Bohemond. An old and respectable name. He wasn't born to the Legion, so he took the name after he joined. My father knew him. Spoke well of him. When the Legion was accused of murdering the King, Devonsey renounced his vows and quit the Legion. 
insisted that the charges were true. Stubborn man, strong conscience, best tactical mind in the Legion too. If we had Lucas with us, we would say we should recruit him, and Angeli would say he abandoned us. Angeli is quite a bitter, righteous fire kind of type. Um, Katerina, neither. I'm going to go with we should recruit him. Devinzi has Legion blood. He might be willing to join us. He might speak on our behalf at least. Convince the Queen that we can be trusted. If we seal an alliance with the Royal Court, we prove that Ebb has a future. People would rally behind us. Last I heard, the Queen had retreated to the Glitterdelf Mine. That's where Jane will be going too. If she gets her hands on the Queen, our war is lost. Devonsey mentioned the Queen more than once. What's her name? Rosalind. She'd be, what, 17 years old by now? Last of the royal line. Jane Cassinder would like nothing better than to capture the girl. With Rosalind caught or dead, resistance dries up and Stonebridge stands alone. How do we know that the royalists will talk to us? We don't. They probably still believe that the Legion murdered the old king. Odo's right. They may be wary of us, but we have truth on our side. What's the fastest road to Glitterdelf? Glitterdelf Mine is a long march from here, many days on foot. Take the causeway instead. The Legion had an outpost not far from the mines. Must have been a causeway there, too, and I doubt the gate was ever sealed. We'll try to find the Royal Court, then. Is there anyone else who might join us? The Meisters, the Merchant Lords of Stonebridge. They'd be powerful friends. Friends? These people believe Jane's lies. They murdered our brothers and sisters. No reason to think they'll embrace us now. No reason to think they won't, if we show ourselves worthy of trust. At least the Meisters could tell us if any Legionnaires survived. So the Meisters govern Stonebridge? Are they nobility? Nobility? Far from it. They're the richest men in the city. Merchants, bankers, bureaucrats. Stonebridge calls itself a republic now, ever since the old king died, and the people drove out the last Lord Mayor. Any idea where I can find the Meisters? Probably at the old mayoral office, on the main square. I'm told it was converted into a great public hall where the Meisters hold court. Now, this isn't really a vote, uh, a choice, um, whether we pick either of these. Uh, we're going to end up doing both of the quests, of course. Mm, but in terms of gaining influence with Katerina, I'm going to pick this one. And because the vote went in favor of the Royalists, we're then going to go and rescue the Queen. Ah, perhaps Katerina might appreciate the subterfuge. Stonebridge has an army of automatons and it hasn't been touched by war. The Meisters would make for stronger allies. True. And they are just down the road. Convenient, no? Up to you. Martin and I will trust in your decision and will be here if you need us. Well done, all right then. Uh, let me just quickly save and then we'll head uh, through the teleport thing. Oh, no, wait, actually, there is a whole shitload of stuff that I need to loot over here first. Well, that's not that interesting to watch, so I'll skip ahead a bit. Really, the loot was quite shitty here, I believe, but there is a nice amount of lore to go with it. Alright, I'll save quickly and then we'll go through the uh, causeways. That, by the way, is the character for the DLC. We'll do that later on. So, the causeways. As usual, I will be skipping this over here. It's really just a whole bunch of walking. And I am going to backtrack a little bit to pick up an item that I forgot about. So see you in a second. Because they are all interconnected, the causeways that is, uh, they allowed us to backtrack quickly, well not that quickly, but fast enough, into Gundrick's mausoleum. Where I forgot to break down this piece of wall and loot some stuff. A sarcophagus is empty. The intended occupant was never buried here. That's probably about the daughter. Corset of the Royal Concert. 
I believe that is actually an item I can appreciate. Let's see, Sikra's bodice was mostly armor retribution and warding, and this, yes, this is far more suitable with agility and stamina. And a bit of armor. Alright, and with that, did we actually have an amulet? Oh, this doesn't look like it's that much. Nope. Alright. Now, with that done, um, let me go through the causeways again, and then I'll see you on the other side. And this should be uh, the... well, it says Glitter Delve Causeway, so it should take us to the right location. Judging from the royalist dead scattered around this signal fire, it seems that these men sacrificed their lives to alert their fellows to the enemy attack. That's quite a lot of dead. Look at those fires. Jane has brought many soldiers, yes? Rosalind may wish to start practicing her curtsies. Well, not if it's up to us. My gamer mind says, is there anything to loot here? All these dead bodies? Oh well. I wonder if they even know we're here. I should have guessed as much. Beware. What the hell? Alright, those are cannons. And there's loot all over the place. That's a bit of an awkward combination. I do want the loot. Let's see, anything over there? No. Please stop shooting at me. Yes, this is a small may. Oh, this no, this doesn't go back. This actually goes to a chest. Ah, oh, but it's all rubbish. White steadfast carapaces and all that kind of crap. Oh well, perhaps there's something good scattered around somewhere. Yes, I forget about one thing. I believe that this wall is. Come on, yep, destructible. I actually found out about that on accident, because the character targets that wall when you just try to fire away, and I was misclicking. Alright, no more cannons. I believe we're also going to be set upon by regular enemies about now. Look out! The Azonites have cannons sighted on us. Yes, I didn't notice that, Katarina. Not at all. Come on, where are the enemies? Just being fired upon by cannons isn't the most thrilling experience. Alright. Now let's see whether this attack works against him. I hope that wasn't the 25. Which... Oh, what's that? That's a goblin? Huh. Seems we're being pincered. Um... I would appreciate it if the Pillar of Fire would actually land in at least a spot where it deals damage to somebody. Those things deal a lot of damage. Christ. Let's try this again. I've honestly had that deal a tremendous amount of damage before. I'm not sure why it refuses. I'm going to try that attack until it actually deals damage. What against these guys, I really prefer to just... Throw this one first, and then a fire pillar. And when they're stunned, yeah, it's beautiful. Now you can also do that against groups. What's this then? This is a royalist cannon, similar to the ones you saw in the swamp. It could be used to gain access to the nearby encampment, but we will need to find cannon powder first. Gate. 
and believe he is stunned because of the criticals. Wonderful. Those guys have enormous amount of health. But apart from that, they are not very interesting. So I think that's the last time I'm going to show this guy. So before we can crash through there, we are going to need to find cannon powder. Oh nice, that's one of the new attacks that she has since I believe last episode. Any more chests? Yes. As well as more cannon fire. Which seems to be sighted quite well right now. Oh well. I see enemies. Time to get this thing out. Fire. Good god, was that 400 damage on me? These things do a lot of damage. The... I think that was a goblin actually. Yes, these are goblins. How cute. I can't really use the fall from the heavens skill against goblins because, well, the goblins usually already moved away before those skills have any kind of use. Now that works wonders. Those ruins up ahead. That looks like an old legion outpost. Yes, but we can't actually do anything with the ruins yet, I believe, and there's nothing over here. Nope. Let me just quickly back through, backtrack into that ravine over here. I thought you were part of Jane's advance guard. Never been happier to be wrong. We're nearly too late. The enemy will soon take the rear entrance into the mines. My men and I came here to collapse the entrance with our cannons, but were taken by surprise. I... I was wounded. How long has the fighting been going? It's been three days now. General Devonsey had only just returned when Jane's forces got here. We had little warning or time to prepare. Glitter Delve has too many entrances, and we've been struggling to control them. Do we have enough time to seal the rear entrance? I believe so. But you'll need ammunition. We've used the ruins on this mountainside as storehouses. Take this key. Some of them are locked. Our cannons are past me, down the path, on a perch overlooking the entrance. Once you've found what you need, you can fire the cannons and collapse the entrance into the mine. If you don't, the Queen's men will be overrun. I've passed by some of these ruins. What are they? Old Legion watchtowers and outposts. They've seen better days, but they work well enough as shelter and storage. I'll head to the ruins now. Thank you. I'd go, but... I don't think I have much time left. One of the ruins is down this path. Past our cannons on the overlook. You walked past the other two already. We used the big one as a camp, but the Azunites seized it. You'd have to blow open the gates to get inside. Regaining control of the camp would help us hold the mountainside. But nothing is more important than collapsing the mine entrance. I wish you luck. Well, let's get some cannonballs, or what was it, powder? And anyway, let's get the stuff we need, and then uh, also we saw the camp. I believe the cannon powder should be over here. That's quite a sturdy gate. Oh, stop firing with pinpoint accuracy. More loot as well as stuff we needed. Uh, yes, now we can blow open the gate. Ah, uh, let me just skip forward. Ah, oh, yes, the cannon. More goblins. They really deal a lot of damage. You need to be careful with those goblins. And uh, those AoE pillars are also quite dangerous. 
Ah, uh, don't stand in them. Yep, is everything dead already? I wanted to try the new attack. Oh well. I'm fine with this as well. Nothing over here, nope. Ah, more people in the camp, of course. Come on, group up a little bit. Any way to strategically use that attack? Let's... Oh dear. Well, it does about 200 damage. But I've seen it crit for 700, and really, that's what I've been trying to get all along, but somehow it refuses to show it to me. Come on, please. Nope. The 26 wasn't that attack. Seriously. And loot. As always, loot. Oh, the level up, of course. Yes, this thing really should do a lot more damage. It also knocks down enemies. I think I'm going to put more points into that. Why not? Uh, more damage from killing things. Yes, please. And I'm going to give you more damage with the flintlock fl flint fury attack. Ah, I'm going to have to pick a new one for you here, eh? Well, this one block, no. On an uninjured target, no. Receives more healing. Uh, you're either dead or alive. You don't really do a lot with healing, I think. That recovers more focus. Let's just keep it at that. One final chest, and then we will move back to where we came from. So, I'll skip that. The fighting rages below. Uh, and look, is that a dear god, Rich? Stand your ground, men! We can't let them into the mines! Well, I believe we need... Do we need more stuff? Yes, we don't have the things we need for the cannon. So let's go and get that first. <laughs> Little bastards dealing tremendous amounts of damage, eh? Quick as well. Come on, I want this attack to critical hit. Yes. See, that's what it's capable of. Finally. Almost got me killed. Oh well. I mean, I like this. Yes. All right. Yes, I still like this attack. I definitely like it. Even though it doesn't always work like I want it to. Cannonballs and more loot. Good God, I'm going to have to sort through all that rubbish. Roderick, we're going to fire the cannon. Get inside the cave. That's it. Fall back. Collapse the entrance behind us. What? God damn. Being attacked by goblins in the back? These, these guys are pitifully slow, really. Wonderful. See? The attack does work. Just needs a, bit, a little bit of luck. Katarina, don't go stand in the AoE attacks. It's not a smart move, really. Alright, I believe that's it for this episode. Yes, because we are going to enter a long conversation next, and I don't want to end on that. Alright, next episode we're going to enter into the mines. Have a good evening, and I'll see you next time.